Just one week after Easter, game fanatics of all kinds came together to celebrate and explore games new and old at PAX East, an annual video game convention held in Boston. The convention ran for four days and offered an impressive array of content. Really, I've always, ever, I've always wanted to go to PAX, <laughs> and that's, now I can, uh, and having a booth was, was kind of the coolest thing. To like, We have a lot of fans, so it was like the prime place to, one, finally go to PAX, two, meet a lot of fans, and now we're meeting a lot of new fans who see it for the first time. So I love meeting fans, and that's, I mean, that's the primary reason we came to PAX. The convention welcomes all ages and all types of gamers, whether you prefer more modern video games or classic tabletops. One major feature at this year's PAX East was its Indie Mega Booth, which featured dozens of independently developed games from around the world. Similarly, their Playcraft booth showcased local works in progress. The highlights was definitely the, uh, the Indie Game Expo, the like, actual independent developers that were there, because like, a lot of the stuff was like, oh yeah, cool, whatever, like another Blizzard thing, like, yeah, I can, I can see that really anywhere. Like, they, they have enough, like, media presence that they can show themselves off in whatever format. Still, fans of big league games like Overwatch and Fortnite had plenty to see, from live tournaments and free plays to VR experiences and photo opportunities. The, the setup, particularly for Magic the Gathering, the, the expansive area they had for that, the, the, the people that were super friendly too, so like, I, I haven't played in a number of years, so people were inviting like, hey, like, you like want to come watch this game, like, and some people even took the time to like explain some of the stuff because I have been out of it for a while. So just the the community there was really really great. So PAX is amazing, uh, and I actually run a conference with my wife. Uh, they called the Canadian Gaming Expo up in Canada, uh, and I think that conferences like these, expos like these, are insanely important. It's great for indies to come together, collaborate. It's a great way to actually meet fans, show your game off. It, it's it's essential to the industry, especially for indies, a place to go and actually show people what your game is. So whether you prefer a casual round of Dungeons & Dragons or an online international brawl competition, PAX seems like the place to be. For BUTV News, I'm Hannah Harn.